Why is the arrest of Trump bad? Let's talk about it. Today, I want to discuss Trump's words about his impending arrest and explain why it's bad. Let's divide my listeners into two groups. Those who support Trump and those who oppose him. Why is it bad for Trump supporters? It's pretty simple. The potential arrest of the former U.S. president could bury Trump's career. His supporters may back another candidate to increase their chances of winning the election, since Trump's PR team hasn't been able to earn any points on the persecution topic related to the New York case. In the media, everything that doesn't work for you works against you. I'm sure Republicans will play it safe and go with another candidate, as Trump's arrest would make him ineligible for the elections. Why is it bad for Trump opponents? First of all, Trump is weaker as a candidate than Biden. If the topic of his arrest continues to develop, Republicans will start investing in another candidate who potentially could beat the current president. But why? It's simple Trump accumulates a lot of negative feedback around himself. Many people voted for Biden not so much because they supported him, but because they opposed Trump. This time, those votes will be evenly distributed because there won't be a big irritant like Trump on the ballot. Secondly, the fact that the topic of the arrest was resumed just before the election raises suspicions of blackmail and underground gangs. The prosecutors in the New York case had about three years to arrest him, but they waited until the beginning of the elections, or hoped that Trump would not announce his participation in the elections. Whether this is true or not, we do not know. But personally, these coincidences worry me. I believe that the judicial system should be independent. If a former U.S. president has violated anything, he should be judged, not used as a means of blackmail for winning the elections. The future arrest of Trump puts the entire democratic system in doubt if they holded the arrest until the beginning of the elections. This possibly means that the prosecutors won't have enough power to imprison Trump after the arrest and thereby get rid of him once and for all. So they decided to hold the arrest to get the most out of the case. Alternatively, Trump and Biden supporters may have made a deal that they would hold the arrest and Trump would not run for election. Either way, it's bad. I don't like Trump, but the fact that they decided to arrest him before the start of the elections worries me. I support democracy, not individuals. That's all. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Stay tuned for more updates, as there's always time to talk.